Hello and welcome. Are you noticing some issues with your Zern Wilkins NR3XL pressure reducing valve? No worries. We'll go through some troubleshooting and maintenance steps to get your assembly functioning properly again. To ensure proper performance and maximum life, the NR3XL should be visually inspected and pressure tested regularly. If you're not qualified to perform periodic inspection and maintenance, please contact a certified plumber for assistance. Anytime a pressure reducing valve is adjusted, a pressure gauge must be used downstream to verify the correct pressure has been achieved. Do not bottom out the adjustment bolt on the bell housing. When the desired pressure reduction is more than a 3 to 1 ratio, or if the inlet pressure is above 150 PSI, it's recommended to install multiple regulators in series to prolong the life of the valve. The following are situations that frequently require inspection, cleaning, and maintenance of your NR3XL. You may notice pressure periodically building up in your system above the outlet set pressure of the NR3XL. In this case, thermal expansion of water might be causing the change in pressure. This is natural and may happen each time a water heater runs. Pressure will be relieved the next time a fixture is opened downstream of the NR3XL. Thermal expansion is not related to a faulty pressure reducing valve. If pressure frequently builds up in your system above the outlet set pressure of the NR3XL, then debris buildup or worn parts may be the problem. To correct this, either flush the NR3XL or repair it with the appropriate Zern repair kit. We'll cover instructions for both later in this video. If the pressure and flow of fixtures downstream of the valve are unsteady or inadequate, then low supply pressure or heavy periodic demands of fixtures may be straining your current system settings. Consider increasing the pressure to increase flow to your fixtures. Finally, if the valve appears to be noisy, chattering, humming or whistling, then your valve or system could be undersized. This could also be caused by worn internal components needing to be replaced or the pressure reduction is greater than 3 to 1. It's possible that you may need to clean the seat washer and the seal ring, as outlined later in this video. If the noise persists, contact a certified plumber for assistance to determine if the valve or system is the right size. Before we begin, let's gather some of the tools we'll need. All right, let's get started. First, close a shutoff valve upstream of your NR3XL to turn off the water supply. Next, open a faucet downstream to remove the line pressure. Note and record the height of the adjustment bolt protruding from the bell housing. Loosen the lock nut on the adjustment bolt. Then, turn the adjustment bolt out of the bell housing to remove the spring tension. Using a wrench, remove the bell housing by turning it counterclockwise. Remove the spring, spring disc, and the friction ring. Remove the cartridge from the regulator by gripping the retaining bolt with pliers and pulling it outwards from the valve's body. While the valve is disassembled, open the upstream shutoff valve slightly to flush out the valve body and the service line of any debris. Visually inspect the internal machined surfaces in the valve body where the O-rings of the cartridge seal. Look for any cuts or gouges in the body. If there is any visible damage or corrosion to the Brown's body, please replace the entire valve. Remove the screen from the cartridge for cleaning, ensuring both the upper and lower O-rings remain in place. Remove all debris from the screen before reinstalling. Visually inspect both sides of the diaphragm for any cuts, tears, or material degradation. Clean as needed. Next, visually inspect the seat for any nicks, cuts, or other damage. Clean as needed. If there's any damage to the diaphragm, seal ring, or seat, replace any parts with an appropriate Zern repair kit. If there's no visible damage to the body or any internal parts, reinstall the cleaned cartridge by performing the previous steps in reverse. Mm -hmm. 
Repair kits for the NR3XL are available by calling Zern Customer Care. Begin by discarding the old cartridge. Apply silicone grease to the cartridge O-rings. Reinstall the new cartridge into the bore in the body, making sure the O-rings seal tightly against both the cartridge and the body. Replace the friction ring. Ensure that the raised edge is facing up. Improper installation can cause damage to the diaphragm. Next, replace the spring, the spring disc, and the bell housing. Tighten the bell housing onto the body by threading clockwise. Turn the adjustment bolt into the bell housing and adjust it to the height you previously recorded. Place the valve into service according to the installation instructions. You can watch our NR3XL installation video for instructions, tips, and tricks. Next, open several fixtures downstream of your valve. Open the upstream shutoff valve slowly to turn on the water service. Let the water run for several seconds or longer if needed until the air is purged from the system. Then, turn off the fixtures downstream. Adjust the pressure to your desired outlet set pressure by turning the adjustment bolt, clockwise to raise the pressure, or counterclockwise to lower the pressure. Tighten the lock nut when the desired pressure is achieved. Using a pressure gauge, retest the valve to confirm proper operation as outlined in the testing section of the NR3XL manual. Well, thank you for watching this troubleshooting and maintenance video for the Zern Wilkins NR3XL pressure reducing valve. We hope you found this information useful. If you need additional support, please reach out to our Zern customer care team. For other installation and troubleshooting videos, visit Zern's YouTube channel.